One of the things that really sets Strum GS2 apart from a lot of the other guitar VIs around is that not only is it great for all these performance aspects that we've been looking at so far in this series, but we can also, through the physical modeling system that it employs, really control and adjust the quality of the sound of the strings of the instrument. And to do that, we go into edit mode here, and there are a couple of different sections. We're going to start with the string module today. Now, the strings are numbered from six to one, with six being the lowest and one being the highest. So you click on here to get to these parameters that are unique for each string. Now, I've programmed up a little part in keyboard mode, and it's using only string two. I'm going to play it for you as is, so you'll hear what it sounds like naturally now with this preset, and then we'll explore using the string controls to shape its sound. So I'm only using the second string, and I'm using the hammer-on articulation here, which sounds nice, and it's all over a D7 chord. So to start with, we have the physical modeling of the sound broken down into vertical and horizontal parameters that control the vibrational motion of the string. So to start with, we have the tone knobs over here, and this sets the amount of high frequencies in the vertical and horizontal components of the sound. So I'll play this, and as we adjust it, you'll hear it get duller as I dial down lower values. So right away, that shapes the quality of the string motion. Now, the inharmonic knobs add inharmonic overtones or partials to the pitch, so it makes it a bit more out of tune. Rather than adding fundamentals that are even harmonics, it'll add odd harmonics. And I'm just going to put the balance, well, I'll leave it where it is, and this way it'll emphasize the vertical portion of the sound. So it's almost like a chorusing or detuning effect. which could be kind of cool. Now, we have decay controls that control the decay of the vibrations, so nothing really too unusual there to understand. So we get a longer sustain as we turn it up. Now, we have a coupling knob over here, and this is used to adjust the amount of energy exchanged between the two polarities, the vertical and horizontal. So we can turn it clockwise, we'll increase the beating between the two. Almost like a vibrato effect. Let me dial it down a bit. Now the balance knob controls the mix between the horizontal and vertical components, and left is vertical, right is horizontal. So we can set these to different qualities and use this to balance them. When we dial it more towards the left, the vertical quality or aspect of the sound is a little bit more of a natural sound in general. Now we can also manage the controls between the strings from this menu here. We can copy the settings to all strings or to string one, string three, string four, to the other ones, etc. We can interpolate the settings between the strings. And the other thing we can do is we can use the command key, and that's control on Windows, to adjust the parameters on all strings all at once. So for example, I've got another part here and I'm gonna just switch to loop mode. Let me just reinitialize this sound, bring it back, and then I'll go into play mode here and put this into loop, and you'll hear a chordal pattern. And I've switched some of the trigger notes so we get different rhythms, but it's that type of sound, and I'll use the command key to adjust these all at once. Nice kind of out of tune beating sound, which is a little drastic, but just to illustrate the point, if I switch to the different strings, you'll see that they're all at the same settings, except for the volume knob, which I didn't adjust. Let's bring it back to a little more realistic setting.
So that's a nice way of influencing all the strings at once. So let's do a little review of what we just looked at. The strings are numbered from six to one, with six being the lowest and one being the highest. The horizontal and vertical are represented by H and V in the interface. Parameters control the vibrational motion of the string. And we click on the tabs on the side to adjust the parameters for each string one at a time. Now the tone knobs set the amount of high frequencies in both the vertical and horizontal parts of the sound. The inharmonic knobs add inharmonic overtones or partials. The decay knob controls the decay or release of the string. And the coupling knob is used to adjust the amount of energy exchanged between the vertical and horizontal motion of the string. And when we turn it clockwise, we increase the beating. And the balance knob controls the mix between the horizontal and vertical components. Left is vertical, right is horizontal. And the vertical portion is usually a little bit more natural sounding. And we can manage the settings between the strings either from the menu on the top or by holding the command key down, and that's control on Windows to adjust the parameters on all strings at once. See you for more in the next video.